Faith and Family Fellowship Podcast is a Christ-centered podcast established in 2019 and hosted weekly by Pastor Chris Busher. Addressing a host of topics such as the Great Commission, Christian discipleship, and often featuring interviews with special guests who are experts in their field. The views and events expressed on this podcast and all related materials belong solely to their author and not necessarily to the author's employer, organization, committee, or other group or individual. While all attempts are made to present accurate information, some information may become outdated over time. Faith and Family Fellowship Podcast makes every attempt to timely update any and all such information. Without further delay, here's another powerful episode of Faith and Family Fellowship Podcast. Hello and welcome to another podcast episode here for Faith and Family Fellowship. I am your host. My name is Chris Busher. Uh, we have another special guest. Um, his name is Steve Titch. Now, Steve is one of the guys that make up this four or five people group um, that they do this podcast. It's called Man Up. I came across this podcast uh, very recently. It's not a bunch of pastors. It's just regular guys that get together inside of their church building, uh, sometimes inside of a coffee shop or they're each other's houses, and they just they talk about real-life issues. They talk about biblical teachings and... And the whole idea is just guys getting together uh, to talk about God and give God glory. And they don't do it in any type of crazy way whatsoever. It's just straight to the point. Um, And I got the opportunity to interview uh, Steve Titch, one of the guys with it. And you're going to hear the interview on this podcast episode. We are on episode number 12. Now, with this podcast, I want to go ahead and just very quickly uh, play their intro. I got permission to play their intro for us uh, here on this podcast so you kind of get an idea of who they are uh, and what they do before we even get into it. So let me go ahead and just play this for you so you can kind of uh, have an idea. Maybe you're one of the thousands of people that uh, listen to these guys. Maybe you're not. Uh, Just go ahead and listen to it. It'll give you a real good feel of what these guys do and what they're about. Welcome to the Man Up Podcast. I'm with some wolf. I solve problems. A spiritual oasis for men. We're not pastors, just regular guys. Put that coffee down. Coffee's for closers only. So, for the uncommon man, created by equally uncommon men, this is Man Up. Now, the reason that we even brought them on the show, uh, Steve, by the way, um, the reason that we brought him on the show is because last week they had something pretty strange happen. Um, They finished their 111th podcast episode, which, by the way, congratulations on that, guys. Um, That is something very special. I can't wait to get there myself. Um, They finished it, and they were talking about uh, David and Bathsheba, um, and they weren't doing anything crazy. They weren't doing anything uh, that would set off bells and whistles, but something happened. Something happened to them with with Facebook. Um, You know, and as we know, Facebook has over 1 billion users right now. It's a huge platform, great for being able to post our podcast. Uh, Maybe that's how you found this podcast as well. Something happened that really kind of took them by surprise. Uh, after posting 110 episodes on there. And I want to talk about that during this podcast episode. We're going to get right into the interview uh, as soon as we hear a word from our sponsors. You're listening to the Faith and Family Fellowship Podcast. We'll be right back after this quick word from our sponsors. Ready to jumpstart your career? Want an adventure of a lifetime? Uncle Sam's International is looking for language teachers who are highly motivated and have what it takes to grow and expand their thriving ESL school in Brazil. We need teachers for English, Spanish, Italian, and more. Visit Uncle Sam's International on Facebook today. Tired of no one seeing your Instagram posts? Have a product or service that's not getting the online attention it deserves? Ready to level up? At Busher's Social Media Marketing, we have just what you or your business have been looking for. Our team of dedicated professionals are ready to help you grow and engage your audience. No spam, no bots, 
just good old-fashioned quality social media marketing. Visit bushersmm.com today. Okay, so I'm joined uh, here with Steve Titch. Uh, Steve, welcome to the show. Hi, glad, glad to be here. Steve, uh, I'm so happy to have you here with us. Um, I know that you are one of the people that, that make up this awesome podcast called Man Up Spiritual Oasis. Uh, Steve, the very first thing that we like to do with every uh, person that we interview and bring on to the show is we want to first know a little bit about you, why you believe in Jesus, and just go ahead and tell our listeners the story. Well, I, I really can't say I had one of these flash conversions. Um, I, my background is Catholic. I grew up going to church. Uh, went to a Catholic school, went to a Catholic high school, uh, but did fall away uh, when I got to college and kind of was in the, you might say, in the culture for some years. Um, I gradually, I would say gradually, I began to come back um, about the time I was married uh, because my wife, the, the, the woman I married, was Christian, um, and we started to going to a Presbyterian church, this is when I was living in the Chicago area, and gradually I, I began to come back to the faith. Uh, I, uh, I, I'm going to get a little esoteric, but even more, I wrote Brideshead Revisited and talked about the, the, the uh, pull upon the thread, the tug upon the thread, the, that, that God will let you go out into the water like a fish, but... Uh, he'll he'll reel you back in when he wants to, and I feel that's been a bit of my experience. Uh, more dramatically, I and I, I I've been attending church now and, and been a Christian for, for more than twenty years. Uh, my probably my most emotional experience came uh, about a year and a half ago when I had a really bad accident. I I, I basically fell through my attic floor and fell two stories um, onto, onto, a, onto a hard, con- not a, a hard, hard, basically, tile kitchen floor. Um, either way, I mean, I, I basically, because the way I fell, <laughs> the, the odds were incredible that I was able to really end up with only a couple of broken bones. Yeah, exactly. Um, and and uh, it, it was, I, you know, I, it's one of those stories where I say everybody has some kind of near-miss story in their background where, where you know, what the heck, how did I survive that? Um, and I think there, are, I, I, I really think the Lord was looking out for me that day. I don't think it was because I was already a Christian, um, but I think I'm open to believing that that was not, that was not a bunch of small improbabilities that came together to create a large improbability. It was just too miraculous. Mm. Uh, so th- that's that's, and then then as part of that, I saw I saw the church come together for for me. Um, that was perhaps even even more more stirring. The fact that uh, suddenly you know the a community of people in some cases who didn't even know me that well, uh, there was this outpouring from it. And it was, it, was, uh, it was amazing to behold. And I think my faith strengthened a lot that day. What was there um, got a boost. And, and that, to me, was, took things beyond the intellectual. Because, uh, you know, I could probably talk, talk the Bible with, with the best of us. Yeah. Um, but that took things up to a whole nother level, a whole nother spiritual level for me. Yeah, and it, it became something real for you. Mm-hmm. And how, yeah. how many years ago was this? Oh, this, the accident happened only about 18 months ago. Okay. Uh, uh, almost two years. It was September 2017. And so since then, uh, you, you've been uh, attending church regularly. What, what other type uh, of things are you doing? Um, well, there's the, uh, the man up, podcast, uh, which we had started even before that, uh, there's, um, I, I do have a role in teaching another, 
uh, Bible study class, another Sunday school class. Uh, and uh, here and there I get involved in some service projects, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm the type of guy who likes to, to teach and who likes to, you know, bring, bring my experience, you know, look at the Word of God, study it, understand what's in there, and, um, and share, share what I've learned. Yeah, and for my listeners that might not know uh, what Man Up is, Man Up is another podcast. It, it seems to be a really excellent one. There's 112 different episodes right now. Is that correct? Yes. And yes. just from reading a little bit of the blurb uh, from your guys' uh, podcast channel, uh, it looks like it says, not pastors, but regular guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. And that, that right there, that is something incredible. How many guys get together to, to talk on this podcast? We have uh, five regulars. Okay. Uh, Bill, myself, three other guys who are generally there every week. And every now and then, a another member of the group will will come in. A, a kind of a, it's, we've got an open door policy, so um, we generally have four regulars plus an occasional. And I don't want to call them guests because they're not really guests. They're, right. they're, they're members of the church. They we know them. So every every now and then, we get another participant or two. And you guys, uh, I haven't actually listened to many of many of your guys' episodes, uh, but from from what I've been seeing, uh, you guys often take a, a humorous look at faith. Uh, and you guys just are real, real people, um, mm -hmm. and engaging and real, real deep in the in the conversation. Uh, I did notice that mm -hmm. uh, there is a church listed here in the blurb. Are you guys officially mm -hmm. part of of that church? Is this a church? Uh, We're, podcast? We do, yeah, we. We are, it's not, it's not sponsored by the church. It's not a ministry of the church. We are all members or who attend Sugarland Baptist Church here in Sugarland, Texas. Uh, we, it's our home church. Gotcha. Uh, and we're involved, we're, and we're all involved there at various levels. Um, the podcast itself, um, the, the, we, we use one of their, we use one of their classrooms, essentially. Uh, and, um, but to the effect of no, we, they do not sponsor us. We, we're not even we we we're not even we spend money. We don't have a budget, yeah. so we're not funded. Uh, we're just we just record there. And sometimes when the church is not open, uh, if it's a holiday, or uh, we will uh, we will go to a local coffee shop and record and do there. it right there, man. <laughs> and so, uh, how did how did that start? Uh, it's it sounds you know kind of like a fellowship between you know four mm -hmm. maybe five guys just talking about Jesus and learning different mm -hmm. things. I was seeing in some of your previous episodes. It looks like right now currently you've been going through Second Samuel. Before you were going through mm -hmm. John, just talking about some real life things. How did this mm -hmm. whole idea to start the podcast? How did that um, start, and who did well, it? This is this is largely it's it's really Bill's brainchild, Bill Cox's brainchild, who is who is still the director and really facilitator for the Man Up class on Sunday, uh, and and he he's he likes to say, he likes to use the word awesome, um, but he wants guys to be awesome, and the whole the whole idea behind the ABS, the Bible study, the Sunday school, which extends to the podcast, is that. Uh, let's have a place where men can get together and he would say exercise their faith muscle. I would say basically talk about and strengthen their faith and have a, you know, a spiritual enrichment, an hour of spiritual enrichment. Uh, most, most Bible studies at most churches are couples oriented. Right. Uh, they have, you know, you're there with your wife. I'm, I'm not saying that's better. But, the, the the unique thing about Man Up, and we extended it to the podcast, it lets guys be guys and, and, and lets them really talk about what's on their mind. And, you know, sometimes you don't want to talk about things with uh, your wife there or the other guy's wives there. And it's not, I mean, it's not just, you know, a, a guy thing. It's a, it's a comfort level. Um, and so I think, well, that's what, that's what spurred, bill to be leading the the group and we decided at some point we decided a, couple, you know, a little more than two years ago let's you know let's take what we do on sunday and use that as a jumping off point for a podcast 
Bill, Bill's, uh, Bill's a TV producer and uh, he's a filmmaker, independent filmmaker. So he's, he's, you know, a bit of a showman. I won't say he's, he's in showbiz or yeah. at least, uh, at least on the independent level. So he knows, he knows what makes a good show. Uh, and, uh, we, we just work really well together. We just basically, you, what we, what we talk about on the podcast, you would hear the same thing if you came into the man up class on Sunday morning. Yeah. And so this is, a, this is an actual class you have on Sunday mornings as well? Yes. Yes. Um, I mean, it's, it's a little larger. Uh, again, I'm not in it as much as I was before because I'm off teaching. I'm teaching a couple of classes. I'm gotcha. teaching a couple of uh, so, Busy, busy. Um, so, but, uh, but it's a larger class. So, so, but, you know, you get, I mean, if you want to get show, it's like, this where we work on our material. <laughs> so, <laughs> I like it. We, we know, and, and, you know, we, you know, and so, so uh, I know that at least, you know, Bill's in there and two other guys on the podcast, Kyle and, and, and Mike Cropper are there regularly. So they are, you know, they've already, you know, talked about the lesson. They know, you know, and, and so we can, we can go over that. And after having thought about it a little, you, you, you can talk about it a little more knowledge. Really. You know, it's basically, hey, let's, you know, let's do a first draft on Sunday and take it home on Wednesday. Yeah, and let me let me just tell you. I, I don't know if I've already said this, but I'm going to say it again. I absolutely love the title of your guys's podcast, Man Up. It's <laughs> it's a great it's a great theme. It's a great message. You know, and, and in two words, it just it says it all right there. Uh, yeah, that's all, Bill. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, I, and I love it. He he did a great mm-hmm. job with that. Uh, mm-hmm. So I guess the reason that we really brought you on the show here today mm-hmm. is it looks like on the tenth. Uh, it would have been what mm-hmm. would it have been last Sunday or last Wednesday mm-hmm. night. Uh, mm-hmm. You you had kind of a, a shocking issue happen uh, after you made your hundred and eleventh mm-hmm. podcast episode. Congratulations, by the way, on a hundred and eleven <laughs> podcast episodes. That's that's an incredible accomplishment. So can't wait to get there myself. But mm-hmm. can you tell our listeners what happened when when you finished this and you uploaded it? Mm-hmm. Well, we did. It, we got we got blocked by Facebook or Facebook blocked our link to SoundCloud where we post our, our podcast. Um, and we were, <laughs> it was, well, it was Bill first who found out about it because he did the posting, but we were, we were kind of like watching. Uh, we, we don't, we, we don't exactly know why we Facebook's message to us or to Bill was that we won't post your link because, it violates Facebook community standards. Now it was kicked back instantaneously, so it was their algorithms, their their computer systems, essentially, that uh, sift through the text, to sift through blurbs, sift through our, our our hashtags, which you can all right. you can see all there. Something and tripped for their some system. Reason, <laughs> decided this was not in. And we did not meet their 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 standards, which which puzzles us to what? to no end because we're not even we 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 I, I've looked at their their community standards and we don't even we don't come anywhere near being um, violating them, right. Put it that way. We, did, we're not we're not we don't we don't we don't take political business. We're not a political podcast. We don't. We, we really stay within the realm of Christianity. We don't say, you know, we don't compare Christianity to other religions. We don't disparage other religions. We don't even talk about other religions. Right. We talk about the Bible and and um, and and various, you know, what we think it means and and what what scholars have said. We really just talk about Scripture. And so, what um, what keywords were you using? Uh, did, I mean, did you um, put anything that would have set this <laughs> off? Well, here's oh, I, you know, you would, here's what's generally in there um, with each podcast: uh, Christianity, Bible study, men's ministry. Then we'll sometimes well, leadership is thrown in there. We'll throw in the book we're studying if it's a if it's a biblical book. In this case, it's the Book of Samuel. Uh, we, we would have put Gospel of John. Uh, we, we put nothing, you know, we don't put Republican Party, Democratic Party. Right. Uh, we, we don't put, we don't put, you know, we don't put anything or, or even anything really cultural in there. Right. Nothing um, that should trigger that it. That signals that, yeah, that, that would, tr- that would seemingly trigger something. Yet, yet this did trigger. Right. <laughs> somehow, and... <laughs> somehow this triggered it, which, which, which is the kind of the side that, that also concerns us 
because it says a lot about how what's being baked into algorithms. Right. And so did you repeal this decision? I mean, have you heard anything? Um, we have not heard anything back. We uh, Bill, Bill responded very quickly to it. Um, the, the, and this, this was the, this was the only podcast so far that's been kicked back. We did one twelve over the weekend. It was kind of, a, it was, it was really a special podcast in response to this. It went through with most of the same keywords in it. Um, so no, we have not heard anything, uh, back. And as far as I know, we haven't yet been able to post it. Um, Bill has tried a couple of times, and it, and again, it's it's at least come back twice. Wow! Uh, as as uh, not 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 meeting community standards. So, what was the content of this podcast then? What what is it that really uh, <laughs> tripped this all up then? Okay, we were discussing, and I'll, I'll just do it. We were discussing a second book of Samuel, uh, chapter twelve, verses one through twenty three. That is part of the David and Bathsheba story, which we had already even started the week before. So 110, 110 and, and this is a famous story, but it, and it, no, not, not only to Christians, but to, but to, to a lot. Right. This is a story where uh, King David, um, is, his, his, his generals all go off to battle. He's left at the palace pretty much by himself. He goes up onto his roof, and he sees Bathsheba bathing uh, in bathing on a roof nearby, and he is taken with her, and he decides to send his messengers over. He has her brought to the palace where he seduces her, and as things go, he gets her pregnant. And so David's got to do something about it, and he you know, just kind of does a you know calls Uriah back from the field and kind of nudges him and says, why don't, why don't you go over and you know spend the night with your wife? And Uriah, you know, says, my men are out in the field; I should be out with them. So that that falls apart. So finally, David pushed to the point where he's really got to you know deal with this. He decides he's going to put Uriah on the front line and make sure he pretty much uh, is killed in an ensuing battle. That happens. Um, the next time, then we get to the podcast we talked about is the aftermath of that, where the prophet Nathan, an advisor to David, pretty much calls David out on it. And says, you know, you you did something really horrible here. You you took something that didn't belong to you. Uh, you really you and and David and and David is repentant about it. And the, the child, uh, the child that 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 comes from that from from David and Bathsheba's adultery dies. And it is in the Bible. It is it is it is part of the consequence. It is it is it is, it is presented as something God did as punishment for David. And then these are the things, but as a side, these are the things we talk about. Right. Uh, you know, why does God do I mean, you know, and, and have, what does that mean? Doesn't, doesn't other parts of the Bible say that, you know, neither his father, who, who sinned his father or him, and that, that God doesn't work that way? So, so these are the things that come up. And, you know, it's a, these are tough stories, tough to understand, yeah. and, but we're not afraid to talk about them. But I'm, I'm digressing a bit. That that was the subject of the uh, of the podcast that that particular uh, part of scripture, which really <laughs> again uh, we 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 were we were completely puzzled and bemused. What about that kicked it back? And and uh, we're it's, we're pretty forthright about the content in the in the description there. Uh, you know we, we and but we talk but the but the content makes. You no know, references to Nathan, David, the adultery with Bathsheba, God's forgiveness, um, speaking truth to power. We see nothing in here that's divisive. Right. I mean, these all, are just real, see, real life see, topics here. Yes. All, all we see are, and, and this would buzz, are, are together, juxtaposed together, Christianity, Christianity, Bible study, and men, and. You know, if did did Facebook's algorithms just decide? Well, if three of those go together, that must be something troubling yeah. that we, we can't have here. Yeah, <laughs> and and I mean, what I mean, you these are you know, what other conclusions are you going to come to? 
Yeah, and you know, let me first say this: I am really glad that that your that your group of guys that come together are talking about these topics. These are topics mm-hmm. that most Christians uh, would would love to hear about, but they really don't have an opportunity uh, to really discuss it and to really have a real conversation, especially with key passages like this with David and Bathsheba. So again, if if any of my listeners are listening right now, the podcast that we are talking about it's called Man Up. And every one of their episodes, 112 of them so far, they talk about real-life topics like this, uh, the same style that I'm doing here on this podcast. They are having real conversations that most people might either be too too afraid to talk about or have just never had the opportunity to really engage in a conversation. And so I just wanted to really uh, throw that one out there for my listeners. Let me ask you this question. Are you offended by this ban that Facebook did to you? I, I, I'm i not offended <laughs> as much as I am just shaking my head over it um, because we're, we're still on the Internet. Um, we're still we're 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 still out there. We um, we we it's been one podcast. I, I what why why I'm shaking my head is that. I think we're looking, you know, it's sad to see that this is ignorance. This isn't, it, some, somebody wasn't there at Facebook looking at this stuff and deliberately pressing a button and saying, oh, we'll have none of that. But there's something about the way they're set up that, that this biasness or this, this skepticism, you could call it, or and if you want to go as far as this antipathy, our antagonism about Christianity, about religion, somehow is baked in to their their artificial intelligence. That that this is that something like this um, would 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 raise flags. That's that's what concerns me, and that's I think and I think it's a sign. It's a sign more of where the culture is right now and where the bubble that Facebook is in because. When Facebook is a worldwide platform, You're, you know it's got a, more than a billion people on it. Yeah, more and than more than any country in the world. It, it's and, yeah, and if you if you want to talk about a community, you have to look that that Christianity is the is the largest religion in the world, one way or another. I mean, it's not it's not top of mind in Northern California, right? Um, so, but you know, there you have the issue. Um, you have a group of you have a company or a group of people at a company who are basically, you know, putting their own. Basically, it's a limited experience that they're putting in to a fair, to a very strong platform, and you know, I'm, I don't think they meant it. I don't think you you go down there. I'm sure they're very nice and they said we didn't mean to do it, but it's 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 there, and it's a, it's kind of a sign of where where secular secular culture is right now. Um, and you know it's kind of exactly the reason we have man up because we want we want you can't talk about religion in the workplace no matter no matter what faith you are uh you really it's it's been banished out of the workplace and it's been gradually moved out of the public square we want you know if you're driving home we want you to put on our podcast and we want you to listen to what we're saying, and do you agree with us? Do you disagree with us? Do you, you know, are, are we funny? Are, 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 are we crazy? Um, but if it, it's a chance, it's a chance to basically, you know, be refreshed, like that spiritual oasis, to go to the well, to have a have a have a bit of that uh, your your faith nourished again, if, even if it's only for an hour. Yeah, absolutely. Now, do you? Are, I mean, you, you said it was about four, maybe five guys that that go together, put this on. Um, are you guys sociable on on Facebook? Do your dear listeners uh, send you messages about you know asking different questions, and then do you talk about that in the future podcast episodes? Where I mean, where do you see uh, Man Up going? You've already done a hundred and twelve mm-hmm. podcast episodes. Mm-hmm. Where do you see you guys going, and, and why should people really mm-hmm. connect? with you well to be to, to be perfectly honest I, we could use more we could use more feedback i know bill gets some i think he's plugged into what what comes in on itunes which i'm not um 
and we do as a side we do seem to get we do seem to get a few good comments from women uh, maybe they're more open uh, but they see uh, the, the women, women who listen to us get a kick out of it too we're, even though we're, we're really we're really trying to we're really aimed at men but um, I'd like to see us continue to get bigger and more more listenership we have uh, kicked around the idea of doing video we, I, we did one podcast on video kind of as a trial uh, I think earlier earlier this year uh, that's a matter that's a matter of of a, of a bit of both time, effort, and logistics, uh, and and that may call for a little bit of a budget to do it well. So uh, that's that's where we're going. We are um, we, we, we'll, we'd love to come to you if you if you're an, if you're if you're one of your listeners or your listeners are in men's ministry. We'd we'd love to come to you and do a podcast live or do our podcast type uh, conversation live at, at, at your church. We, we, think, uh, we, think, we think the men in your, your church would, would have a blast. Yeah, absolutely. Now, can I ask this question while, while we're on the topic of that? Why did you guys choose podcast uh, to, to create uh, this, this content for the world instead of mm-hmm. uh, any other platform? I mean, most people are out on YouTube and, and Facebook mm-hmm. and, and everywhere else. Why did you choose to really focus in on podcasting? Because you don't want to see our faces. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we, we're, we're all a bunch of radio faces. Yeah, you got to love uh, that. Um, yeah, so, well, because, but to, to be honest, it's, it's, it's simple and easy and, but quite effective. Absolutely. So we, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't, um, you know, we're 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 not a we're not a big show. We'd love we'd love uh we'd love to get to the point where we can really get a uh we a studio and some some higher end equipment. We pretty much, as I said, record in a classroom. Uh, it's not a it's we we call it a studio in name only, but we don't have the 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 buffering and the and the and the mics and all of that. We we just uh is we. Bill does a lot of good work with software he's got. So um, we did it because, it, and it doesn't, I mean, we're, we're men. So, you know, we're just going to keep it go out there and yeah. wing it sometimes. And, and uh, it's, a, it, it's very easy to do. And I guess that, I guess you, you congratulated us before. I guess it's the commitment. We, we just somehow agree we're going to show up every Wednesday evening and, do this and uh we really we really do get a kick out of it we do it for the fun of it well and that and that's what's important uh i don't know if you know this but just a couple real quick facts about podcasting over 90 percent of all podcast channels that start don't make it past episode seven Mm, i've heard things like i mean it just it's it's just Mm -hmm. insane and so to see a, a channel like yours that has grown from you know way past that seven mile marker all the way to 112. I mean, I'm I'm really just excited for you guys. I actually just subscribed to you guys uh, a few minutes ago here on iTunes, so I look forward to listening to your guys' future podcast episodes. Um, if I could ask one last question of you uh, yeah. before I have to let you go for for this episode, mm-hmm. can you give me uh, kind of a spoiler alert about what your next next episode is going to be about? Oh uh, well, we're going to continue uh, a look at David. We're going to actually the things get even more interesting because we have the 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 rape of Tamer, uh, and David's fallout with his son Amnon, and the whole the whole strife and issues with with between Absalom and Abnon. It's a very colorful story, um, uh, especially if you if you're a big fan of shows like Game of Thrones. This is this is your own little pocket version of it. But we're going to present it again as 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 part of the consequences of this uh, of of David's sin with Bathsheba, and, uh, and that's that's really what r- runs through this whole thing how how one how one sin how one you know lack of discipline here can ripple out and and you know snowball get get worse and worse and really affect generations uh, the next generation or two. Absolutely. And for all of my listeners out there, one more time, this is called Man Up, Spiritual Oasis for Men. 
the author is Bill Cox, uh, but like like uh, like they said, there's between four and five guys that are always discussing on this. Uh, it's available on iTunes. It's available on, on Google Play, and basically every everywhere where podcasting is available. And I encourage all of my listeners just to to go check this out. If this is the type of content that you're interested in, I subscribed. It looks like they got some pretty good reviews on here as well. Um, would you mind doing me a favor? Would you pray for us? Uh, to close out this show today, uh, pray for the future of not only not only the podcast uh, that that you run, Man Up, but also for Faith and Family Fellowship. Uh, just let's go to the Lord in prayer. Will you pray for us? Oh, sure. Lord Jesus, Heavenly Father, we uh, thank you for your kingdom here, for for your your agents here on earth, like Chris, who uh, spreads the word through. Uh, podcast. We uh, pray for your radio and, and podcast audience. Uh, may their faith continue to grow. Uh, we pray for your families and your friends, your churches. Uh, may the may the subs- may the sustenance of the Lord uh, be bountiful on you. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much for, for taking the time uh, to, to speak with me today, Steve. I really appreciate it. Um, I hope you have a great, blessed day, and I hope that you don't get blocked from Facebook again. <laughs> yes. I, and I look forward to listening to podcast episode uh, 113. You have a great day. Oh, we'll have yeah. it there. Thank you. Chris. Absolutely. God bless you. You've just listened to the Faith and Family Fellowship Podcast with your host, Pastor Chris Busher. Faith and Family Fellowship Podcast was recorded live in studio with final editing made before uploading. Subscribe today to Faith and Family Fellowship Podcast on iTunes or Google Play. For more fantastic daily content, visit Pastor Chris Busher online via Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Don't miss the next episode on Faith and Family Fellowship Podcast.